I love individuality. I love people expressing themselves. I mean, I love seeing a man walking down the street in a skirt or tattooed or what, or, you know, in Brooks Brothers. It's like whatever you are, you know, be true to that. Of everything we can do in life, like, why would you not want to, like, express yourself with beautiful things? And she was like, obsessed with clothes from when I was a little kid. I mean, just all, it's like obsessed. In Ohio, I mean, I remember my little polka dot bikini, like running around the Excelsior Club and feeling so fabulous. Like, Since I was a little kid, I mean, I love anything that doesn't match. So that was, you know, that really has become my signature in my um, in my career of, you know, styling. And I mean, <laughs> it's like yikes. Um, and same with my necklace. So I'm wearing all Hari gems, which I wear a lot, and I actually wear them a lot during the day, and just kind of like it's not you know irreverent to the importance of them although they're so important because they're just so beautiful but like whatever and again nobody like I always say people don't know if they should rob me or if they should give me money like is she just kooky and she needs some help or should I take all that off of her um, it's it's at me it's like the mixture of the green and the black zebra with a little stud and a zhuzhi like reach and gold and then silver here i mean that is a mixture and it was the first day of the shoe sale and i knew exactly what i wanted but it was insane i mean that's when like all these women are like they have these brown paper bags and it's like all those like chic women uptown who would never like like loading up their bags and i was like okay i have like 10 minutes and mm -hmm. i just was like I went into the total Zen meditative state and I just focused and it was like, there was my shoe, my Jimmy Choo, so which I This is honestly like my uniform. Like this is how I live in New York City. And this is my Fendi coat that, I mean, I just, yeah. I had to have it and I have to be honest. This is one that I was like, I'm gonna sleep on and I didn't sleep. And this is like a light as a feather. And then it's all, like these pieces of mink, but then it's all cut with like all of this like incredible lace. In here. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with my any love crotch pant. I just feel like that is such a great look. And then I just this is just like to me like the right proportions. Kind of that schlump, and it's kind of, and it is totally fabulous. Um, I'm so. obsessed with prints right now, and I love this top because it's kind of like I always love this looseness. I always love a detail in the back. Um, I always wear a t-shirt underneath. It's kind of like my thing of like starting with the t-shirt just makes me feel comfortable. And the detail in this blouse is so incredible. This is like all, you know, hand placed lace that's cut out and put in to this blouse. It's just, it's just so stunning. And I, it just, I love the feeling of it. And again, it's so beautiful, but it's like, it's baggy and then I get to tuck it in and it's that whole schlumpy chic. And this is a little Mongolian lamb fur from Vera Wang. And um, I always, I'm obsessed right now with like the proportion being here, but not like the shoulders. I love when I have like a little bit of fullness here. I love, you know, cause fashion's really about proportion. Mm -hmm. Marnie, perfection. Um, my cool new fave jeans, my R13s that, um, so cute. Yeah, they're just, you know, it's like I've got to feel like I'm a little punk, a little boyish, a, not too, I just can't stand when everything's precious and put together and, you know, I just find it so hard to find long dresses or find things that I can wear in my dressed up way that are me and then express me and, you know, these really do it. And again, and again, I obsessed about this bracelet and I let it go and then I got off the plane the next time I was in LA and went straight there and got my diamond ID bracelet. I love an ID bracelet, I always mm. have. This is all raw diamonds from Devira. The reason I love him is that, you know, he has the most gorgeous things in there and so special, but no one would know this was diamonds. And I, again, it's that subtlety. I know they're diamonds. And I love my little 25 centimeter Birkin bags because they're like candy. And again, like we were talking about, it's like, I'm embracing what I love. Could perhaps have a Birkin intervention. It's definitely a problem. I am obsessed with them. They make me crazy. Anyways, these come off and you can put them on all the different diamond beads. And you know, these are these great Indian necklaces that 
you know, are just on the cords, so you can wear them a million different ways, mm -hmm. and they're just they're heaven. amazing. Yeah, they're they're like little treats. There really it. was no job as a stylist. You so know, I kind of forged that way of like, I'm not going to conform. I just kind of figured it out as I went along, and I actually met really amazing people. Were you? None of us knew what we were doing. We knew we loved clothes. We knew. I mean, that's when I met Stephen Mizell and Anna Sui, and it was just this whole thing, and we were all just kind of doing our thing. But we didn't really know what our thing was or how we'd make money from it. I mean, Pat Fields was kind of like mm -hmm. the grandmother at the time. Well, she wasn't the grandmother at the time. She was the mother at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, she kind of guided us into like how to make things into a business. And, you know, that was it. And that's why we all kind of just connected. We had this great life. We were at clubs every night and then working and just, there weren't all these rules. You know? Well, it was. <laughs> I mean, this is a down and dirty <laughs> job, but you get to touch and feel every piece of clothing from the runway that season, every piece of jewelry of every new designer. I mean, we are hunters and gatherers, yeah. and I want everything in there. I love new. I love new designers. I love finding new. It's not like, oh, has somebody used them before? Like, why would uh, I want? Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're on a mission. Oh, my pillows that were my Dries Van Milton skirt. And it was like I never wore this skirt, so I loved looking at this fabric. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And I thought, I'm going to make pillows out of them. And here they are. And it's like, that's really kind of what fashion is. It's an expression of ourselves as women and as, you know, individuals. I mean, fashion's such an individual, really, at the core of it. I not like to give permission to whoever's going to listen to me, you know, to do what they want to do and follow their heart and be themselves and have fun in that closet in the morning. Um, that's our time to express ourselves. Like, we don't know what's going to happen when we walk out our door, but we know we can have fun in the morning.